Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Jose Vicente Matias was born on the 24th of September 1966 in Firminopolis, a municipality in eastern Goiás state, Brazil. He was an arsonist before being sent to prison and escaped from prison in 1998. Because of his work and being a hippie, he was able to travel across Brazil, which made it harder for police to link the crimes together. He then went on a killing spree, murdering six women between 1999 and 2005. In killing his victims, he would practice cannibalism, eating parts of their brain and drinking their blood. Killing throughout four states in Brazil, it became difficult for police to link his crimes together. He also practiced black magic during his murder spree and was alleged to have been on hallucinogenic drugs during two of his murders. His victims were usually killed using a stick or stone, with bodies stripped naked before he drank their blood and ate their body parts. He would befriend the women by pretending to be a tourist. His first victim, Natalia Canas Caniero, aged 15 from Minas Gerais, a southeastern state in Brazil and the second most popular state in Brazil was killed in Tres Marias in September 1999. Nine months later, Matias killed hippie and arsonist Simon Lima Pinho from Bahia in the northeast of Brazil and the fourth largest Brazilian state by population. Pinho was beaten and stoned to death in Lencois, a municipality in Bahia. Matias killed his third victim, Lidiane. Vieira Melo, who was aged 16 in Goaina, which was Melo's native city, the capital and largest city in the state of Goias, and for the 11th largest city in Brazil. Matias bound Melo for a day and a half, holding her hostage while he drank her blood. After killing her, he then dismembered her body and cut off her head. The fourth victim of Matias was killed in 2004. 29-year-old Russian-Israeli Katrun Rakitov, who Matias killed in Bieranopoulos in Goias. Matias alleged that Rakitov had stolen 15,000 Brazilian real, or about 2,669 US dollars, which led him to murder Rakitov. However, it was never proven that Rakitov had stolen any money from Matias. His fifth victim, 49-year-old German tourist Marianne Kuhn, was also killed in 2004 and was found in a shallow grave in the Baranayas region in the state of Maranajo in the northwest of Brazil. The final victim of Matias was killed in March 2005, 27-year-old Spanish tourist Nuria Fernandez Colada, who was killed on the beach of Itatinga in Alcantara, 30 kilometers from the capital of the state of São Luis, Maranajo, in the northeast of Brazil. He met Colada at a backpacker's inn in São Laos. Matias alleged that Colada stole things from him months ago in Guarapagi, on the coast of Espirito Santo in southeast Brazil. Colada was killed in a particularly brutal manner with blows to her head. Matias drank her blood and ate parts of her brain performing a dance ritual after her death. Many witnesses saw the pair on the 20th of March 2005 traveling in a boat in the direction of Aitatinga Beach near Alcantara, from which Matias returned alone. After his last murder, he was arrested on the 29th of March 2005 in Paracanga, in the interior of Para, after an anonymous report having fled to Para State by coach after killing Colada. Witnesses who had seen the pair travelling on the boat were able to compile composite sketches of Matias and his ex-girlfriend Valiera Veloso made statements to police which made them deduce that he had travelled to Para. After being arrested on the 23rd of March 2005, he confessed to the killings of Kieran, Mariane and Nugia before confessing to the murders of Lidiane, Natalia and Simone one week later. He told police, I didn't try to go after any of them. They came after me. They invited me to go out with them. Upon his arrest, he was transferred to São Luis, the capital of Maranajo. 
Due to Marias targeting international tourists, the foreign media took a strong interest in his case, particularly the second largest newspaper in Spain, El Mundo. He was sentenced to 23 years in jail, which he is currently serving at the Odenier Guamiares Penitentiary of a prison complex in Apacadia in Goania. His sentence was reduced in August 2016 to 24 years and further reduced in May 2018 to 22 years, 4 months and 15 days. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.